Welcome to another video. In this video, we are solving an Olympiad math problem. So we have 6 to the power of x plus 9 to the power of x is equal to 4 to the power of x. The first step we're going to take with this one is we're going to divide the entire equation by 4 to the power of x. Now we're doing that so that our 4 to the power of x can cancel out. We're going to be left with a 1 value here. And since we have a 6 over 4, that can reduce down to a 3 over 2. So let's write that out first. We We'd have 3 over 2 to the power of x plus 9 over 4 to the power of x is equal to 1. Now 9 over 4 is interesting because both 9 and 4 are roots. So we can take out a root of 2 from both of these and that would change to 3 over 2 squared. So we can write that out. And now what we did here is we took that 3 over 2 squared and we pulled that 2 value to the outside. And the reason we did that is now that we have 3 over 2 to the power of x in both positions, we can replace that with an algebraic value. And in this case, we're going to use the letter u. So let's rewrite that with the u value in for 3 over 2 to the power of x. So we'd have u plus u squared is equal to 1. Now what we want to do is we want to be able to use the quadratic formula to solve for u. And so we need to put it in the right form. And that form needs to be u squared plus u minus 1 is equal to 0. Now that we have a, a, b, and c value, we can use the quadratic formula. Now, if you're uncomfortable with the quadratic formula or have no idea what I'm talking about, I have a video on the quadratic formula that you can check out. I will put that link in the description. But if we were to plug our a, b, and c values in to the quadratic formula, it would look like this. And now if we first solved for inside of our square root, that would be equal to square root of 5. Because of 1 minus 4 times 1 times a negative 1, that would change to the value of 5. So we're at negative 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 times 1, which will give us two different answers because of the plus or minus value. So we would have a negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, and a negative 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. So let's get a clean slide here. Now that we have solved completely for our u value, we can resubstitute in our original u value, which was 3 over 2 to the power of x. So we'd have 3 over 2 to the power of x is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2, and 3 over 2 to the power of x is equal to negative 1 minus square root of 5 over 2. Now right off the bat to save time, we need to recognize that our right equation over here, this fraction, is going to give us a negative value because the square root of 5 is a larger number than negative 1. So negative 1 minus another negative is going to be a negative value. We need to recognize that no value for x will be able to make 3 over 2 a negative value. So therefore, there's no real number solution to this option. It's not possible. So that means we're working with one option over here. And how we're going to solve for x is we're going to use the natural log function. So if we took natural log of both sides of this equation, we would write it out like this, just plug our values in, we have natural log. Now using log properties, if we had log x to the power of b. That is also equal to b log x. So we can take that exponent, our b value, and move it to the front. So in this case, our exponent would be x. So we can move x to the front of the natural log. So we have x natural log 3 over 2 is equal to natural log of negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2. Now we're just going to divide by natural log of 3 over 2. 
so that we can get our x value to be by itself. So we'd have x is equal to natural log of negative 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 all over natural log of 3 over 2. And that's the final answer to this problem. So if I moved a little quickly, you can always go back and pause or slow the video down. But if you have any questions, please comment down below. If I don't get to it, usually someone else does. If you found this video helpful or useful, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.